How did that happen? You gave birth to me. You paid a mortgage. You know that kind of makes sense. I didn't ask for this. You made me, so you pay for me. Doesn't that make sense? Anyway, the, the, uh, the case was thrown out. Now, this is real. Both his parents are lawyers. He didn't have a chance. <laughs> but... But they threw it out of court because the parents said, we were trying to consult with you. We couldn't find you. <laughs> but now you're hearing it even from young children, 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds. You tell them to put a book away or to put their shoes away and their answer is, I didn't ask to be born. Of course, parents panic, run, rush the kid off to, to therapy, and put him on medication for anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts. <laughs> if your child or grandchild ever says to you, I didn't ask to be born, don't give him medicine. Tell him, neither did I. Because <laughs> it's true, you didn't ask to be born. And you know why you didn't ask to be born? Because you don't need to be. If you needed, you would have asked. You don't need to be. Isn't that a shocking thought? Doesn't it sound a little suicidal? <laughs> you don't need to be here. You don't need to be born. You didn't ask to be born. If you were asked, you would have said, no thanks. I need this like a hole in the head. So look at what's going on. Your parents tell you you have to. You have to. What's going to be with you? Get your act together, get a life, get a job, grow up. You have to. Then you listen to the commercials. Things you never heard of, you have to have. You have to, you don't have one of those? medications. Do you sometimes feel a little something in the back of your throat? Well, you need this medicine. Order now. It might kill you, but it'll take away that. <laughs> really, they go through five minutes of warnings. This may make you blind, it may make you dizzy, it may make you, may give you a stroke or a... 
And after five minutes of that, they say, so what are you waiting for? Order now. Order now, we'll send you a month's worth for free. Because my, my reaction is, if a month's worth is not enough, this is not a good medicine. <laughs> At any rate, the commercials all tell you what you need. You need. So you figure, okay, I'll go for therapy. You know what happens when you go for therapy? You come in and you say, I need help with my anxiety. Can you help me with my anxiety? And the therapist says, you think you're suffering from anxiety? Your mother never wanted you. You hate your brother. It's eating you up. So you need much more than you think you need. I said, oh God, can I get away from this? <laughs> so then you say, all right, that's it. I'm going into religion. Right? Religion brings you peace of mind, comfort. No, it doesn't. You come and you say, I've got so much anxiety, I've got so many worries, I have so many burdens, I'm looking for an answer. And what do they tell you? You think you have problems in this life? <laughs> Wait till you get to, oh, is it? You need to be saved from what happens up there. You need to do this, and you need, and it just piles on. More needs. What do you do? Where do you go? That's what Judaism is. You know what Judaism actually says? Uh, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? What a relief. I thought I had. From all these rules and regulations, you must, you have to, it felt like I had created the world and it was all my fault. It's not. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Relax. What's your problem? He's got problems. He created a world and it just doesn't cooperate. <clears throat> In the beginning means before you had any needs. <laughs> 